All right, you guys, so I am going to add some photos to this video and do an update on how everybody's doing on the Rainbow Lady, but my mom finished one of hers. She's still waiting on the other one to work on. Say hi, Mommy. Hi. How are you guys today? Hope you guys are doing fine. All right, you guys, sorry. It's been a long time since I've done this. Um, I told you guys on the community post some stuff was going on. Our pipes froze with that cold, and then they decided to burst, and they burst under the bathtub. So, yeah, I had to try to deal with that. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to look at your guys' uh, Rainbow Ladies as well as mine. Um, I did take some photos, but I didn't post them because I kept meaning to make a video and just not being able to get around to doing so. I know a few of you guys have finished yours, so we can look at yours. Mom finished one of hers. She's still waiting for the other one to show up. It's just taking forever in the mail, apparently. Like, I think they just fully lost the parcel. Like, I don't think it's it's coming anymore because it... She's had one she's ordered way after it show up, and it's still just lost, so. All right. Um, I'm just going to go down this list. I don't know how I'm going to piece this together with the video of showing you mom's finishes, and I will paste my photos in here of how I am on my lady, I think. I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, so we got the pink rainbow lady complete. Um, first double-sided tape wasn't too bad only thing I didn't like about the canvas was the eyes, which I do agree, they look weird. Not getting the creases out of the canvas under books for two months. Yeah, some creases just don't want to go away. And I think some of that is like the type of canvas material. That's why I like the slightly softer canvas material. But yeah, some you can't get rid of by weight. It just doesn't seem like it does anything. Um, was afraid to iron her because it's an old iron and only operates on hot. Um, I don't want you to ruin a canvas, but you could try it with a thicker towel in between it so that the amount of heat getting to the canvas is less, and, um, watch how long you leave it in one place, but again, yeah, you'd be risking something going on. I do know irons are, like, you can buy a cheap one that would work for, what, 15, 20 bucks, so not horrible, but... You know, still not always something you can just go buy to iron a painting, so. Uh, thanks for letting participate in the event, even though it wasn't the same Rainbow Lady. That's fine. She kind of reminds me of the one Mom did. Although Mom's kind of has, like, more orangey flowers, I think. You'll see it in the video, because I will just be adding this and that video as a full video. But, yeah, the eyes do definitely look weird. They're, like, this black top, and then it's almost like this is the bottom eyelid or something. It, it, they are a little weird. Overall, I think it's a nice-looking painting. It is pink, and I'm not a huge pink person, but I think overall it's a nice painting. But that is a little odd. I just wowed if you're trying to do anything different to them, right? So, there's that one. Um, This one was... uh. Adrian, but I call her bling still. Um, this is her finish with the Diamond Art Club, which is really pretty. Um, six days, uh, Diamond Art Square. You guys have seen this in her video already. And if you haven't, go check out her channel. It's Diamonds, Crafts, and Crochet. All right, next up, um, T. Uh, T's World of Adult Coloring. So, she had a short, uh, The Final Drill, I do believe it was called. So, you may have seen this, too. If not, go check that out as well. She has, uh, coloring books and diamond paintings. Uh, gave her the motivation to finish her. She did start beforehand. But, I definitely call her a rainbow girl. And, surprisingly, they didn't mess the skin tone up all too much, right? Always, like, worried about skin tone with budget canvases and people, especially the darker you get, the worse it seems to be. Um, next up, we got Sue's finish with this lady, and she 
changed the neck, if I remember correctly, in one of your last posts. You changed this neck out a little bit. Um... So, I do agree the neck is still a bit dark. Like, I don't know why it darkened out this much. It should have, like, darkened out to this lighter tone in the cheek here, I think, not this dark line. But overall, that's, like, kind of nitpicking it, right? It doesn't look bad. It's a nice canvas, and it's not crazy on the ABs, at least. But, well, like, it is crazy on the ABs, but... I don't think they're ruining the photo like I think I have had ABs do in the past. I do think it's a little weird that they're in around the eye right here like that. Again, nitpicking, right? So, next one. We have Canadian Witch, which you just sent me a gift, didn't you? I just got the package. I pulled out the paper saying that it was a gift from somebody. I have not looked at the photo. I just opened it enough to grab the paper out. Um, and I didn't look at the label paper either. It's like, oh, that's not the one that says gift. So she's working on it. It seems like, are you working on the whole entire long half here before you do this side? Or are you just doing this whole square here and then doing this square before you go down lower? Because it does look like, I mean, it's off the light board down here to me, it looks like. So are you just working down the whole left side? Or are you doing kind of like the left top half, then the right top half, left bottom half, right bottom half? So we got her. Okay, yeah, this is uh, Sue again. So we've already seen this. Here's hers again before she was finished. Um... Cammy, which has this pretty lady. I think I've actually been looking at her on Timu. And I saw her done, and she doesn't look bad or anything. I'm not saying she looks bad, but I've seen her done, so I don't think I need to get her. So, thank you. Because <laughs> I was really thinking about getting her, but I've seen her done now. Um, Canadian Witch again. So, yeah, there's... Again, we're going backwards, obviously, and I don't know which of these I showed you in the last one. Okay, so, Cammie, this is one she finished a few months ago, uh, 30 by 40. This is kind of what my mom's waiting to show up. Maybe even the exact same one, who knows. Still not sure about the neck color. Like I said, I thought she was the one that said something about the neck color. And like I said, I agree, but overall I don't think it's bad. That's where she started with hers. I know, I'm going backwards, sorry. Progress. So I do believe this is where she said that she changed the neck. Changed some uh, ABs. Okay. Joining two. That's another one of these rainbow ladies. I don't think you have any other posts, though, do you? Alright. Pink Rainbow Lady, Lady Progress again. You've seen her finish, but there was one of the progress photos that might have been in my last video. And we had this one that they said they were going to be working on. I don't think we've seen any photos of this, right? Time Paint with Jackie, though. Do you have a YouTube channel? That name seems familiar. Um, I know some people, though, with the names, I think they have YouTube channels, but their names don't actually... They're just the name I'm used to in the comments, so... Again, there's Sue. This one was the lady that we just looked at from Timu that I said I don't have to get now because I've seen it. So, I think basically that's going back to where we started. There's the canvas before drills were laid on it. Um, lots of confetti. Uh... So Sue says she has a lot of confetti in this area. I know Tita was complaining about this area on hers. Yours is the budget one. Hers is the uh, the one with the diamond art. So I guess it's just the photo that has a lot of confetti in that area. Again, her showing which photo she was going to work on. And yeah. Okay. 
So, that's those. Then we have the people that um, emailed me. Alright, so again, I have some in here. I don't know what we've seen and what we haven't seen. So, we're going to go with the first one that she sent me. I put a name here. Hopefully, you don't mind me showing that bit of your name. Um, then we have a photo with the face done. And the completion. Again, with these photos, I think the arm is odd down here. I think mine's going to be too, honestly, looking at the drill field, though. It makes me half tempted to cut my canvas, like right here. Because this just kind of looks a little weird. But, I don't know, we'll see what happens. I really do think mine's going to be weird too, though. Um, then we have this one that was emailed to me. And I think that's all the ones I've had emailed to me because this is the round one. That was my old square. So let me get my photos for you guys. Now for mine. I don't know where I showed you guys last. So we have this one. This one. And this, I think I decided to do, I was working on this whole chunk here, and the reason this paper is staggered like this is because there was a color drill that was sparse, but I didn't see it anywhere under these pieces, but I did see it like up to the line of one of these pieces, so I wanted to finish it because it didn't look like I was going to grab it out again on the next half. So that's why I staggered them in that way. And then I finished that chunk and then I started it on the border here doing all the black which was four on this canvas so that's showing you the black I did and then I started doing a few little colors because I didn't know how long I wanted to work on it so I pulled out colors that didn't have a lot and then I started working on the rest of the face so I moved these this way to get to all of this symbol that I wanted to and still put my hand on those and then I decided to open the whole area because I just don't like working on small areas. I feel like I'm changing colors too often or something. I just like having a big area open. And then that's the big area done. That's the big area done. And that's about what I had on mine for now. Um, I think I got a little bit into down here. But not too much. Um... If I take a photo and decide to put it in the video, then I'll decide to put it in the video. If I don't, I don't. But, yeah, that's... I got her face done into the shoulder a little bit, and now I'm working down this half of the canvas down here. Alright, you guys ready? Here's Mommy's first rainbow lady. Take these things off. Go ahead and tell them what you thought about her. Well, I liked her. I changed her nose a little bit. Uh, I had problems with a couple of the letters, but all in all, since they were a little different colors, that was okay to do. It went really fast, and it was very easy to me in that because it was multicolors and sections. Hope and you guys like it. Any letters you had issues with? I had a couple of them, but they, like I said, they were the different, they actually made them different colors. So you didn't have any issues with any Not letters? Not really, just seeing them. So. You're making them out. She had, oh, sorry. There we go. Sorry, I always put in my extra drills that I had left over on the sides. Come on. She has 24 colors. And. This is Mommy's first rainbow lady. I think she's pretty. So, those of you that picked her get to see her now. All right. And it looks like there's leftover drills for everything. How do you like her? I think her face turned out pretty good. Like I said, I, had take a I took a couple drills out of her nose, a couple yeah. off the side of her face. I didn't on this piece right here. They had some over here in the white, and I took them out. 
she's not bad. I kind of expected a little bit more color. This is actually quite dark mm -hmm. down here. Yeah. I expected this to be more neck color and this to be a little more color because like this is grayer hair this is browner hair mm -hmm. and the colors running through it are very dark but that's what we were saying she had a darker rainbow palette the other lady yep. had a bright rainbow palette so she's not bad she's not something i'm very interested in a face of a lady with flowers around her mm -hmm. but she's not bad so again she's pretty for what she the dogs hear them taking all the snow out from outside. They have the... what you, The snow plow. There you go. My brain didn't want to think of the word snow plow. But here's this lady. Again, she's nice for what she is. She's not my style. Also, I would question one more thing, which would be taking these face drills right here into by the lips. Because mm -hmm. this patch here is very odd like i don't mind it as like a little bit around here yeah. but right like up to this line here mm -hmm. i would at least put yellow around her mouth some out there see where this yellow line goes like here said, they had some all right in here and i took them out and yeah stuff. and i'd take this cream color and take these out up to like this red line yep. up to this yellow line kind of make a line here mm -hmm. so i'd take out like four rows of them there and like the two rows here that's the skin color yeah. looks well, a lot more pink than it does in the photo yeah but i i would take it to so i'll show you guys real quick i would take this line this purple line here and go one two three four five and do those five lines and i just keep this like red line here to this yellow as a border and just kind of leave the brown around the chin here but then i take this yellow line to there and do these three rows in the skin color so mom i would take this basically and kind of go like this mm -hmm. fill that in with skin color and then yeah. Fill those and was going to tell her. I don't really care about this gray right here around the chin. I think that was actually separating the from the rest of the Right, but this piece right here around the mouth. Mm -hmm. So this yellow here creates a line to just fill in that little finger's worth. Mm -hmm. And then this here, instead with this purple, create this yeah, line with this, like this. Wide. So you would have like... This one was it. Up to five rows here, but only like two or three rows right there. Mm -hmm. I, I would know. I would do like three rows around the mouth or something. Hmm. So again, this video has been very weird so far. I've had a lot of interruptions, but I'm going to do an update on everybody's photo in this video. Well, I was showing you mom's finish, so hopefully you guys like her. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. So, hopefully you guys like this. I am, again, sorry it took me a while to get an update. I did not mean to wait so long between updates. But life sometimes gets in the way, and it's a little bit harder to edit this and put this together. I don't have a microphone for my computer, so I'm using my phone microphone, using my computer to show the paintings. Then I have to sync the audio and the video. I want to put the video of Mom's finish in this, too, and so it just, it's a little bit more complex. I want to buy a uh, microphone for my computer so that I can just use my computer, but we'll see if that can happen or not. Um, again, hopefully you guys enjoy doing your Rainbow Ladies. If you're done with your Rainbow Ladies, hopefully you enjoyed doing your Rainbow Ladies. Sorry there wasn't very many updates. Uh, I do have some Rainbow Animals. I'm thinking about going to Rainbow Animal after I'm done with my Rainbow Lady. Um, also, I think it was Liz that has that Rainbow Cat that she said she'd work on. So I don't know if she's worked on that yet or not. I have not really been watching anybody's videos or really doing much like I've been trying to comment to you guys and respond and stuff but I just have not been able to sit here and do video stuff so I am sorry about that 
Hopefully you guys have a nice day, night, or morning. Hopefully your day, night, and morning continues to go well. Hopefully you guys actually have time to sit down and do stuff. And I will have more for you. Hopefully the next update won't be so far away. Again, I will link channels below that are working on diamond paintings. If your channel isn't linked and you are, I mean, working on the Rainbow Lady diamond painting, let me know and I'll add it. Um, I've been adding it to the video and just copying it from one video to the next video and then adding anybody that says that they want me to add them. So just let me know if I'm missing somebody. All right. That's that for that one.